Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I'm going to talk about some stuff. This is a commentary video, and today I have a very scary story to tell you guys about something that happened six years ago. Yeah, I'm surprised I remember it too. So it was July 10th, 2010, and my dad had invited me to come with him and my stepmom and my brother to a Renegades game. Now, if you guys don't know what the Renegades are, they're a baseball team that was local to us at the time, and they were having a baseball game. So it's somewhere between professional and recreational. I wouldn't say they're quite a professional team, but I wouldn't say they're quite like a school team either. Somewhere in between, I'm not sure. We watched the game. It was pretty uneventful. It was a really long game. It led us all the way until it got dark outside. And after the game, they had scheduled fireworks. So that was fun. We wanted to stay for that. So then when they started the fireworks, for some reason, I have no idea why, they played Christmas music. So like Jingle Bell Rock and uh, Wonderful Time. I don't know the names of any of these songs, but like all the stereotypical Christmas songs. So I think they were going for a Christmas in July theme, even though it was the 10th. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So the Christmas music was playing. We we're having a good time for around five, six minutes probably longer now that I think about it but then all of a sudden there was this gap in the fireworks like it kind of like a couple seconds went by where no fireworks were shot and I thought that it might have been over I don't know and then you just see this green firework just burst through the back of the field so like the back wall of the baseball field it just completely smashed right through it and was going like completely sideways the thing landed over by third base and exploded. It was one of the big fireworks, too. This huge green explosion right in front of the seats. Everyone was like, whoa, what the hell is that? But it was too far away for anyone to really, like, react to it. So they were just like, whoa. And I'm thinking in my head, well, that probably wasn't supposed to happen. And then a couple more fireworks go by, maybe four or five explosions. And then you see this red one. Just like it went up over the stand but not straight into the air it went sideways straight towards the bleachers and it exploded all over the crowd people were getting showered with sparks like it was insane it looked like we just got like shot with a mortar or some crap it was an explosion right over the crowd i was only something like 10 feet away when this happened it was just this huge explosion and then instantly everyone's like screaming like the whole crowd's like screaming people are running away and then the christmas music of course just stopped dead in its tracks so it's just an awkward silence followed by a bunch of people screaming so then immediately the entire place was evacuated the fireworks were stopped and then people were just running out of the like two or three entrances to the stadium and at one point, I got separated from uh, my stepmom and brother. It was me and my dad and then the other two. And then we just booked it out of there. Like, people were afraid of getting trampled. Like, I don't blame them. I mean, if you look at, like, what happened, it was just tons of people all at once, like, running away practically. So I finally managed to get out. And I saw an ambulance outside, and I was kind of alarmed. But it turned out later that no one died. There were some injuries, though, a lot of burns, and I was unscathed because I was, like, just out of the blast radius of the firework. But, yeah, it was extremely exciting. And you know what's really cool about this whole situation, people? I have footage. I wasn't recording. Like, this was before the YouTube days. Like, I had a channel, but I did not upload it on it. The memory came back to me a couple weeks ago, and I decided to Google renegades firework and funnily enough the third result in google was accident renegades firework accident and i hit the button and then there we go that was the exact game that i was watching and there was like i think three different camera angles that were recorded and uploaded to youtube i've downloaded all of them for you guys so i'm gonna be able to show them it's pretty intense actually like it looks legit like some person could have actually died. If it exploded like a second later, it could have killed somebody. It was pretty crazy. The amount of like sparks and fire just raining on the crowd is insane. I'm glad everyone got out all right. And without further ado, let's show these clips off. Oh, oh, man. Get a picture of that one. I got the end of it. <laughs> Oh no! 
Oh no. Oh no. So some more backstory on this thing. I saw a news report on it from all the way back in 2010. And apparently they had to evacuate 3,000 people. And again, there were the burn injuries and no one died, of course. So yeah, what a way to start off Christmas in July. <laughs> so that's it for the story, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you liked the gameplay too in the background. Like Anthony and I just completely destroyed this team. Like, they were two randoms playing with each other, and then by the end, they were just screaming at each other in chat saying why the other one's bad. It was hilarious. Well, anyway, that's it. So, leave a like down below. If you enjoy these commentary videos and want to see more in the future, I got plenty of crazy stories from my life to show off to you guys, including this one. So, that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Oh my god. What division are you? <laughs> Look at chat. <laughs> <laughs>